Welcome back, eh? This is the Canadian Silver Seeker, and I hope you guys are having another great day like I am. In front of us, this has been a long time coming. This is basically my entire 2012 plus Canadian Silver Dollar set in front of you. There are 47 different Canadian silver dollars here, and unfortunately 12 of my silver dollars from 2012 to present are actually off-site currently, and maybe I'll bring them together once I do a complete uh, silver dollar set. I'll bring it all together um, from my off-site location, and... Uh, basically put it all together in one big video for you. I don't know how I'm going to fit them all into one spot. Um, big enough for a video. I might have to take multiple videos and put them together. There are so many silver dollars. But like I say, in front of us we have 47. I have 12 off-site. That is a total of 59 Canadian silver dollars just from 2012 to the present year 2024 a 12-year span and there are 36 more that i know of that i don't have that are also within this 12-year span equaling a total of 95 different silver dollars for 2012 to 2024 alone there are five one twentieth ounce fractional silver maple dollars that I do not have. There are 13 uh, gold-plated silver loonies that I don't have. There are nine different two ounce um, silver dollars that I don't have. Eight that are renewed silver dollars and one that is a, a loon very special edition. Um, an art design that's pressed out loon, very, very rare. There are six five ounce ones that I don't have. There are uh, at least one 10 ounce one that is concave that I don't have that is also super rare. There's a whole, only 112 of them minted. And then there are two 1K silver dollars that I also do not have. Those ones I do not plan on getting unless, of course, you know, prices are right and if they are super super cheap well i might pick some of them up but i doubt i will ever put them all into my collection anyways let's take a look at some of these silver dollars and let you know a little bit about them so so let's start with 2012 12. 2012 here we have a 38 millimeter three quarter ounce bullion silver dollar and if you watched my previous video where I got this this is one of my last silver dollars you'll know that this was very milk spotted um, I had seen some previous videos where people used uh, you know just an eraser head and they were able to remove some of that milk spotting and lo and behold check it out that is looking much better than it was before. Like I said, this is a three-quarter ounce uh, bullion silver dollar. This is commemorating the 200th anniversary of the War of 1812. Um, this being a bullion three-quarter ounce uh, silver dollar, it is 38 millimeters. Um, it's a little thinner than the average silver dollar being 38 millimeters. Um, but it is an actual three quarters of an ounce of silver weight. Whereas the other commemorative 2012 200th anniversary of the War of 1812 is the special edition proof here. And this one uh, is uh, not quite three quarter ounces. So most of them that are not bullion that are of the 36.07 millimeter diameter are just under three quarters of an ounce. Moving on here, we have the 2012. 
This is the 2012 100th anniversary of the Calgary Stampede. Very, very beautiful coin. We also have the 100th anniversary of the Grey Cup. Also a three quarter ounce silver dollar, 36.07 millimeter diameter, made of pure silver, four nines fine, and is just under three quarters of an ounce of silver. And moving on here, moving on here, we have three different loonies. We have just a gold plated loony. From 2012, this comes in the gold-plated set of the War of 1812. We also have the Lucky Looney 2012. These guys are both pure silver. And they are 7.89 grams. This guy is the... Pure Silver 25th Anniversary of the Looney. And as you can see, the other one here also had that date on it. 1987 to 2012. There is one of the coins that I don't have that's on my, my off-site location right now is the Two Loons. That is a one ounce silver dollar. And I'll put a picture of it up there. That one ounce silver dollar is also a 38 millimeter uh, diameter just like the bullion coin however it's a little bit thicker moving on to 2013 this is going to be a bit of a longer video just due to all of these coins 2013 here we have the 100th anniversary of the arctic expedition very very nice coin i'm keeping this one brief if you want more information about each one of these coins i do have basically a video of all of these coins and their specifications the different uh variations that they come in mintages so on and so forth uh, basically all of these coins um that are 36.07 millimeters are three quarters of an ounce of silver they are 20, 23.17 grams, which has an actual silver weight being pure silver of 0.745 of an ounce. This one is the 2013 60th anniversary of the Korean Armistats. Very, very cool design on that one. And let's move on here. This one we have here is the 2013 250th anniversary of the Seven Year War. Very, very nice coin. I also have a 2013 gold-plated loony here. This was the last year that I uh, purchased the gold-plated loony. Someone let me know if you take a really close look there underneath the queen's face. There is a P and basically uh, in, uh, you know, in a box. That P, I think, stands for gold-plated. I could be wrong. But that basically is also a way to determine not just the weight of 7.89 grams, but that is a way to determine that this is a gold-plated silver loony because the ones that are not gold-plated do not have that P under there. We also have a fractional silver dollar here in 2013, a 1 20th ounce happened to be one of the cheap ones that I got moving on to 2014 2014 here in 2014 we have the 100th anniversary of the declaration of World War one very nice coin and the one underneath this here 
is the 2014 75th anniversary of the declaration of World War II. And then moving on, we have the 2014 Lucky Looney. This is my favorite Lucky Looney. I just love the reverse proof finish of this particular Looney. And we have a 2014 1 20th ounce silver dollar. And then we have the 2015. This 2015 is the 50th and oh, sorry, no, this 2015 is the 100th anniversary of the In Flanders Field poem. Very, very beautiful enameled coin. Not super uh, keen on a lot of enameling, but I do like that one. And then also in 2015, we have two different designs of the 50th anniversary of the Canadian flag. Moving on, 2016. 2016, we have the Rio Olympic Games celebrating the Canadian athletes in the Rio Olympic Games. And then in 2016, we have similar designs twice, the 150th anniversary of the laying of the transatlantic cable. Very, very nice coins. Uh, another thing to note, um, this 2016 Actually, I don't even know if I showed you guys this one. This 2016 1 20th ounce Canadian silver dollar is also commemorating the longest reign of a monarch, apparently. And in 2017, 2017, we have the 150th anniversary of the Confederation of Canada. And those almost look like wings, but if you look closely, those are Canadian flags. Which is kind of funny because the Confederation, <laughs> thinking about it, the flag is only 50 years old. So I don't think those flags were around during the Confederation 150 years ago, but still a very nice design. And then in 2017 again, we have the 150th anniversary of Canada. Two different designs there. Very, very similar. And we also have a gold-plated loony for 2017. A bunch of different uh, different designs on there, different things. And if you look on the back there, there's that P in a box telling you that it is a gold-plated silver loony. Just in case you ever happen to find one out in the circulation in the wild. Um, also forgot to mention in 2017, Put a picture up there. There is the 150th anniversary of the of Canada, and there is a goose. Uh, there was a Centennial one back in 1967 of the goose, and this is the same as that one. That one is also off site. And in 2018, we have two similar coins again here. This is the 240th anniversary of Captain Cook at Natuk Sound. Very, very nice coins, enameled and non-enameled. 
slightly different designs. So I picked them both up. And in 2018 here, we also have the 111111 11, 11 coin. This is the 100th anniversary of the Armistance of World War I. And moving on. 2019. 2019, we have a Pettiford one ounce coin. Uh, this guy, I believe, is only 34 millimeters rather than 36 millimeters. It is one ounce, so it's 31 point some grams. Um, this one is commemorating the 70th anniversary of the Newfoundland, of the uh, induction of Newfoundland into Canada. There's also a five ounce that I have of this off site currently. And moving on here, back to 2019. 2019, we have Louis Riel, the father of Manitoba. That's what that is commemorating. Very, very nice coin. And in 1919 as well, or sorry, 2019 as well, we have the 75th anniversary of D-Day. And moving on here, in 2020, we have two different coins that are very much the same. They are both commemorating the 75th anniversary of D-Day or V-E Day. Very, very beautiful designs. One is enameled, one is not. And I love that uh, V symbol on the back of it. That one case looks like it's got a little cracked up there. And also in 2019, we're almost done here. We're getting very close to the end. 2019, I have the 120th ounce fractional silver dollar. And then in 2021, oh, and Kitty has to take a walk by here. In 2021, we have the 100th anniversary of the Blue Nose. And we've got King George V on the back of that one. It was King George the Sixth on the back of the previous one here. And I guess this is a good time to mention as well, um, from 2020 all the way through 2024, there are PAX dollars. I also have those packed away currently, so I can't show you those, but I'll put some pictures up of those on the screen. And in 2019, I also had a concept coin packed away that I don't have, but I will put a picture of that one up on the screen I got that one quite a while ago um, because that had the Voyager on it and I love the Voyager design and moving on here I guess one thing to note uh, 2021 was one of the first years as you can see here in a long time that there was only one three-quarter ounce silver dollar uh, Basically, all the other years, you have multiple three-quarter ounce silver dollars. And 2021 was one of the first years where, in a long time, where they only came out with one three-quarter ounce silver dollar. And moving on here, in 2022, we have the Imperial Crown commemorating the 70-year reign of Queen Elizabeth II. And you got your four effigies of her on the back there. Very, very beautiful coin. And this one is also commemorating the same basic thing. Not so much the crown, but her reign of 70 years. 
We also have in 2022 two different versions of Alexander Graham Bell. And this is the 175th anniversary of his birth, apparently. As you can see, the one on the right has actual hair and beard and collar, whereas the one on the right, that is a bunch of writing all through there. Even his eyebrows and nose and it's all writing in there. Moving on, 2023. In 2023, we have, first of all here, the 125th anniversary of Kit Coleman in journalism. Very, very nice coin. And we also have... The King's Coronation, uh, King Charles III. Very, very nice coin. And so in 2024 yet, the only one that I have is actually the fractional silver dollar. Only one I have in front of us anyways, if I can get that to focus. I do have the 2024 PAX dollar as well, but that one is put away in storage right now. Like I say, when I do a full silver dollar video, maybe I'll pull them all out so that you guys can see them all. The other one that I'll put a quick picture up of there is the one, the Royal Canadian Air Force, the 100th anniversary. That one is coming out in March here. So this video you probably won't see until after it's already out and I'll probably have it and have another video queued up for it. But until then, Thanks for listening to me ramble, guys. It's crazy that the Royal Canadian Mint has 95 or more Canadian silver dollars from 2012 to present. Literally almost 100 Canadian silver dollars in the last 12 years. Um, it is amazing. Like I said, there's over almost 200 Canadian silver dollars total um, going all the way back to 1911 the first year that the silver dollar was made but in the last 12 they've come out with almost half of those now once again keep those numbers as a grain of salt I'm only talking about different designs and different years of silver dollars um, I'm not uh, taking into account all the different brilliant uncirculated proof enameled and gold gilded of the exact same designs in that case there are well over 300 Canadian silver dollars oh and I guess before I go here I forgot the two up there that I didn't actually expect on getting we have the 2021 two ounce renewed silver dollar this is the 140th anniversary of the uh, uh, the Trans Canada Railroad, very very beautiful coin. This was an unexpected pickup. I did not expect to get this one, or the one on the right here. This 2022. This is the 30th and 35th anniversary of the Canadian Looney. And like I said, did not expect to get either of these, but they came at prices that I just could not say no to. And hey, they look awesome up there. Anyways, sorry, this was a super long one. Remember, it doesn't cost you a single piece of silver or gold to like and subscribe. You guys mean the world to me. Happy stacking, eh?